Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining Recover and Roll. Let's get right into it. Start your devices if you are tracking. Get those virgin pulse points. We're going to start with the feet hip distance apart and into a body weight squat. So down and then up. So really focusing on full body here, sinking your hips back, squeezing your glutes at the top, down and up. Feet are parallel. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Widen your stance. Reach the arms up and around. Claps or grab your left or I'm sorry, your right wrist up and over. Return back center. Same thing, other side, up and over. Return back to the first side. And return up and over. Okay, let's do one more each side. And last one. Perfect. Place your feet about hip distance apart for a nice roll down. You're going to nod your chin, roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Soft bend to your knees. Let's pause here at the bottom. Take a deep inhale. And now as you exhale, roll it back up one vertebrae at a time. Let's do palms facing forward. Reach your sternum up into extension, and we'll do it again. Nod your chin, rounding it forward. Getting some articulation through your spine. Take an inhale at the bottom. And now exhale to roll it back up. Palms facing forward. Reach your sternum up. One more time. Nod your chin, rounding it forward. Pause at the bottom. And now roll it back up. And roll your shoulders back, good. Take your right foot, you're gonna place it um, into this runner's lunge and you're just gonna rise the ball up to the ball of your foot on the back foot and then draw the heel down, up and down. So getting you mobile through the ankles. It'll be a nice calf stretch, two, one more. Good, switch legs. And draw the heel down. Now we're gonna run through about eight exercises and it'll be about 45 seconds each. Last one, good. Now I'm gonna have you find your balance on the left leg. Hinge it forward, reach the arms back. We hold it here. So the standing leg is bent. Your back leg is straight. Abs are drawn in. We're in one long line. Balance, core, glutes, hamstrings. Three, two, and one. Switch legs, same thing, other side. Hinging it forward, hold it here. Think about engaging the back muscles, reaching long through your fingertips. Five, four, three, two. Place the feet hip distance apart. Hollow out the spine. Round it as if you're rounding around a beach ball. And then scoop the arms back and extend. Hollow it out. Bend your knees. And extend. Again, hollow it out. And extend. Hollow it out and extend, keep it up. About 15 seconds left here, then we're gonna go into a pike to a plank. Finish out one more. Perfect, bring it down to your high plank position, feet about hip distance apart. From here, pike your hips straight up to the ceiling and then lower back down to your plank. Pike it up back to your plank. So really focusing on lengthening through our hamstrings here, squeezing your glutes as you bring yourself back down to your plank.
This gives us some good shoulder mobility as well. Next up, we're gonna bring it down into our runner's lunge. Finish out one more. Good, drop your left knee down, bring the right foot to the outside of your hand. Now send your front leg straight. So you're gonna rock it back and forth, forward. And now lengthen. Bring it forward and lengthen. Second set, we'll come back and do the left side. Next up, we have a bare plank with an arm raise. We have about five seconds left here. Good, bring it onto all fours, tuck your toes under. Now lift your knees up just to a low hover, hold it there, raise one arm up, set it back down, same thing, other side. Now, if the straight arm is too much, you can bring the hand to the forehead, okay? Or bring it out to kind of a goal post position. Um, the other option, you can draw the elbow in toward the side of the body. So lots of options here. We're straight forward. About five seconds left. Good. Set your knees down. Now, you're gonna reach your right arm up, thread it through, allow the head and the shoulder to rest onto the mat, then press it up, bring it back up to your rotation. And again, thread it through, and reach it up. Thread it through. So this is the other exercise that we're gonna do all on one side first. And then second set, we'll do the second side. 15 seconds. And it gives you some good arm work on the left side too. That's deceiving. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take a seat. You're gonna place your hands back behind the hips Legs go up to a tabletop, alternating heel taps. Alternating heel taps. If you wanna add challenge to this, you can do both heels at a time. If having the, uh, bringing yourself up to your hands is a little too much, you can do this down to your forearms. That'll take it a little bit out of the abs and help assist as well. We have one more exercise, and that's a flexed forward bird dog. Good. All right, go ahead and set the feet down, roll onto your back, flex it forward, reaching the arms up, bird dog alternating. Now, if you're following our weekly fitness challenge, bird dog is the challenge for the week. So go on Viva, say that you've done it, and then you can be entered into our drawing for virgin pulse points. 15 seconds. Then we start back up to the top. Maintaining your flexion, you can always do this with the upper body down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Roll it up to a seated position. Let's bring it back up to our feet and we bring it back up to the top, starting with that balanced hinge forward. Find your balance on the left leg, start to hinge it forward, reach the right leg back, hold it here. Now, if you wanna add more challenge for the shoulders, sweep the arms forward and bring them up by the ears. Little balance challenge. Reaching long through your limbs. Three, two, and one, switch legs. Drawing your shoulders down your back. We have the standing in the hollow. 
to the extension coming up next. Three, two, and one. Feet hip distance apart, hollow it out, rounding, and then extend, press the arms back, reach your sternum up, and again, hollow it out, and extend. You don't necessarily have to go with my pace, just whatever feels good for your body. These are our recovery movements. About 10 seconds left, then we go back down to our pike to plank. So we'll work, work our core. Three, two, and one. Bring it down to the floor. High plank, here we go. Pike the hips up. Back down to your plank. Pike the hips. And return. Maybe you're noticing you can go a little bit further when it comes to flexibility on this second time around, or it's feeling less tight. About 15 seconds left. Then we go into our runner's lunge with our left foot forward. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to recovery. Bring the left foot forward. Find your deep lunge. And now sink it back and lengthen. Lunging it forward. Same concept with this. Don't feel like you have to move with my pace. Good. Bear plank with the arm raises coming up next. About 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Bring it onto all fours, tuck your toes under. Lift your knees to a low hover. Either hold it here, or if you want more challenge, reach the arms up. So again, options here, more advanced, is gonna be that single arm raise, straight forward. Uh, scaling down, out to the side. And then even more, just drawing one elbow into the side of the body. It's like an arm march. We have our quadruped thread the needle coming up next on the left side. We have 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Knees come down, reach the left arm up and thread it through, and again. This gives you good T-spine rotation. Shoulder mobility. On deck, we have our seated heel taps. About 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Take a seat, hands come back past the hips, legs up into a tabletop, either single leg heel taps or both legs. Again, to scale it down, bring yourself down to your forearms, drawing your shoulders away from your ears. Maintaining neutral spine, neutral spine. Doing good, we have 15 seconds left. Last exercise, bird dog. Three, two, and one. Either shoulders down, or if you want more challenge for the abs, flex it forward. Opposite arm is leg. Last exercise. Then we're going into the roll 
portion of the workout with a foam roller. Fifteen seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Let's grab our foam rollers. I'm gonna have you place the foam roller whoop, down to the floor and we're gonna place our feet directly on top for some hip bridges. I'm actually gonna take my socks off for this just to give get a little more traction, but place the arches of the feet directly on top of your roller. Lie down onto your back. Arms long down by your sides. You're gonna press the hips up and then lower back down. Again, another option is to do this without the foam roller. About 10 seconds left. Two more. Last one. Good. Let's bring you back up to a seated position. We're gonna get to our hamstrings. Now, we did this one last week. You're gonna place the foam roller um, behind the left leg. And we're gonna roll out the hamstrings. So I'll actually angle myself here a little bit more. So single leg, left leg on top, rolling out the hamstrings. Now my left side is feeling pretty tender, so I'm gonna actually just hold it in that spot and with my leg, I'm gonna move it from side to side, kind of rocking back and forth, moving over those areas that are feeling just kinda ka chunky. We'll stay on this side for about another 10 seconds, then we'll switch. All right, go ahead and release. Let's do the same thing, other side. Switch it over. Kind of move the foam roller to where the end of the roller is more so toward the midline of the body. Same thing on this side. Rolling forward and back. Any knotty areas, kind of stay in that position. Move the leg from side to side. We'll stay this side for about another 10 seconds. Good. Take a seat, just kind of move the foam roller off to the side, lengthen the legs, and you're just gonna dead hang over the legs. So now we're stretching. So we rolled out those muscles, now let's lengthen them back out again. Good. Let's take the foam roller. We're going to place it onto the mid back. Hands come back behind the head just to help support. And lift the hips, roll it forward and back. Staying onto the mid back and the upper back. We want to stay away from rolling out the mid, the low back.
Might be, might feel good if in between the shoulder blades are sore. You can kind of rock from side to side. And now kind of roll it forward. We're gonna place it onto the back of your neck. I'm just gonna adjust my mic here. So onto the neck and you're gonna tilt the head from side to side, rolling out our neck muscles. I typically hold onto the end of the foam roller just to give myself a little bit more traction. So we'll roll out our neck and then we'll stretch the neck. We'll stay here for about another 20 seconds. All right, gently bring yourself back up to a seated position. Crisscross the legs. And you're gonna bring your eye gaze down to your left armpit. Gentle nod forward here. Other side. Go ahead and release. Let's move on to our glutes. You're gonna take a seat on top of your foam roller. And then you're gonna place your right hand back behind, kind of shift onto that right hip. You can either stay here or if you wanna increase the flexibility and kind of the tenderness of it, cross one leg over so you're into your hip cradle stretch. So we're getting that flexibility and the digging at the same time. And this one can always be a little tender. Take breaks if needed. Feeling those uh, diagonal deadlifts from yesterday. Good, let's transition over to the other side. Place the left hand down, switch it over. Either both feet stay down or crisscross. Roll it forward and back. Some exercises you can tolerate for a little bit longer than others. If you need to, if you've kind of reached your max with this one, just kind of take a break. We'll stay here for another 15 seconds. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna have you set your foam roller off to the side. We're gonna come back to our downward facing dog. See if this feels a little less tight and I'm gonna have you just pedal through your feet. Good, quiet the feet, bring the right foot to the outside of your hand. Just holding it into this runner's lunge. Replace your foot back, same thing other side. Left foot to the outside. And now replace the foot back, find your high plank. 
hike your hips up, start to walk your feet back, or walk your hands back toward your feet. Hold it here, just let one last stretch for the hamstrings. And now again, slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. And head is the last to return, roll your shoulders back and you are done. Awesome work today. Thank you so much for joining Recover and Roll. Hopefully you're less sore. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for Strength with Christy. Enjoy the rest of your day.